Good morning, YouTube fam. It is Sunday and me and Tim did our little beach walk and coffee and then he has gone to golf. And I really wanted to spend the day doing a bit of a spring clean. It is September in Australia, so that's spring for us. But I've got this like sudden urge to really do a spring clean in regards to my wardrobe and also my mind. And so what I say when I want to spring clean my mind is I want to write some new goals, some new intentions for spring and this month, like new stuff to focus on. I'm really feeling inspired to do that. But spring cleaning your life can just, I don't know, make you feel new and shiny and good. I just put some under eye cream on. That's why it is blue. It's just the Ecotan eye cream. It's really good, but my eyes are quite puffy because... Me and Tim had a bit of a fight this morning. We had a fight in bed actually when we woke up. We sorted it out, but I did have a cry, so I thought I would sort that out. And it's funny because I've actually been asked if me and Tim like fight, and oh my God, we do. I have a very strong personality, and I'm also like, I'm very stubborn and driven, and when I think I'm right, I think I'm right and Tim's also very stubborn so we often butt heads but something about our relationship is of course we fight but I call it fighting with integrity we very much will have a fight but he will say his side and I will say my side but we always sort it out I said to Tim I really don't care if you know he's someone who makes mistakes or has stuff going on that as long as we are both progressing as people and in our relationship I'm so happy to spend my Sunday morning um, fighting as long as we kind of progress and get somewhere so spring clean for me is like kind of getting red getting rid of stuff that I haven't worn that's really like making my wardrobe feel cluttered but first of all I actually need to like put stuff away because I just have piles of clothes everywhere. So side note guys, yes, I have a big cold sore on my nose. The next step of Project Spring Clean is getting rid of the clothes that I haven't worn recently. And so the test that I kind of do is I'll get something and it's kind of hard because, you know, you have summer and winter and I actually do put a lot of my winter stuff in another closet. So I'll be doing that too, like all my bigger jumpers that I'm not going to throw out, but I just won't be using this season. But when I'm looking at my summer and spring things, I asked myself, did I wear this last season? And if I didn't, I then decide, do I think I'm going to wear it this season um, or should I throw it out? And so, for example, I've had this top. It literally still has the tag on it. I actually bought it maybe two or three years ago, but because it still has the tag on it, I never throw it out because I'm like, I'm going to wear it. And it is a very heavy material. So I always said to myself, I'll wear it, you know, close to winter, another winter, and I haven't worn it. So I think it's time this bad boy gets given to someone who's going to give it more love. Another example, and this is to do with sizing, is I've got these like really cute high-waisted mustard shorts that I got maybe like two or three summers ago. They're size six and I'm in between. In like gym tights, I'm extra small, but in any other pants, I'm really a size eight. And sometimes I can be a size 10 too. But I always keep these pants because they're so cute, but I never wear them because they're size six and I just don't fit in them. So 
out pile. And that's another thing is, especially this time, I'm going to be quite brutal with things that don't fit me because I know we can sometimes get in the mentality of, oh, you know, maybe I'm going to be, you know, getting my summer bod and all that. So I'm going to keep things that don't fit me. But me personally, I'm just not into that. How my body is, this is the size I want to be. I personally think when you're always thinking that your current body is like temper, temper, temporary you can never be truly satisfied with the body you have and who you are and I'm just not interested in that as you guys know I'm very happy with the person I am and the body I'm in so if something's not going to fit me there's just like no point in keeping it and I'm gonna throw it out and the last thing that I'm going to do is just organize all the clothes so they have their little spots. At the moment, I've kind of just put shit everywhere. Like I've got shorts with tops. What I'm going to do is I like give all my clothes a place and then them all be in those places. I'm not like... I don't go as far as like color coordination or anything like that, but as long as my clothes have a little spot, I am happy. These two hanging piles here, I'm going to put summer tops up top and then t-shirts down the bottom. And that's over in these hangers here, one that's like more like casual jumpers and then one that is sport jumpers because I literally have that many. And then on my big hanger here, I'm just going to put like my dresses and pants and play suits and stuff. And that's it guys, I am feeling so good and so light throwing out a whole box of clothes. I know people are gonna ask what I do with my old clothes. It's really funny, but me and my mum are the same size. So she actually always has first dibs on any time I do a clean out. And then after that, I give it to my friends and then I just ask them to give it to the Salvation Army or, you know, like one of those places where you can give secondhand clothes to. So they're always going to a new home and someone who's going to wear them more. Is this what you boys do on a Sunday? Hmm? I'm going to go have lunch. Do you want to come with me? Lunch today is vegetarian lasagna. You guys know how much I bloody love this lasagna and... I know I've been saying I'm gonna make a lasagna, a veggie lasagna and show you the recipe, but I bought this one and it's just so delicious. It's my favorite one and it's Sunday. So I wanted to have a day of cooking and just really enjoy myself. And I'm gonna go sit in the sun to devour this. All right, so we have done the wardrobe spring clean. I just went in there before and it feels amazing. Spring cleaning and looking after your environment is a form of self-care. The next thing we're going to do is declutter and spring clean our mind. If you were new to my channel, I am really big on goal setting. I love doing vision boards. I love setting intentions. I love ha like doing practices which really kind of declutter the mind, gives you motivation and inspiration in whatever you want to do in your life. I thought I haven't actually written new goals or done new intentions in a very long time and a new season is the perfect time to do that. If you guys want more about goal setting and intentions, I actually have two whole podcasts where I go into it and just like chat more. They're like 30 minutes long, so it's gonna be way more in depth than this. So I will link them, otherwise go to the Rise and Conquer podcast. But today I am going to spring clean my mind, but just by just creating new intentions. And I feel like this will just make me feel 
uh, a lot more direction in the sense of this season and month. I'm not writing down goals just because I'm actually going through a bit of a season where I'm not goal orientated. Maybe the last six months has been very goal orientated with Naked Harvest and my live event, events and just like a lot of things happening and lots of deadlines and goals and that's amazing i got a lot done achieved a lot that i'm super proud of but this season is really about not necessarily having goals and achieving things but how i feel and conduct my every day so i'm really leaning towards the intention part i'm gonna pick maybe like five phrases or sentences about how i want to feel this month and kind of what i want to achieve or just get in the vibe of. So I'm gonna write my intentions and then at the end, we're going to rip them out and you put them somewhere you can either see, otherwise you can do what I do and I have an alarm that I set that I read my intentions every single day. So number one intention is honor the season of slow. Do not feel guilty. And like I said, I am a person who is just go, go, go all the time. And often if I'm not striving or achieving something, I do have a sense of guilt. Like that's what I should be aiming and doing. Number two is only say yes to what lights me up and brings me excitement. Remember a no now can mean there is space for a better yes later. This is all about really boundaries, which I struggle to set. I'm a big people pleaser, so I will often say yes to things, even if it's not a hell yes. It's kind of like just a yes to like help other people or make um, other people feel good. Or even I might say yes because especially I have my own business and often it feels like when you have opportunities, especially being a small business owner, uh, you feel like you kind of have to say yes to everything and you feel like you should just be doing everything and trying everything. And a big thing for me is realizing that just doesn't work because I am such an introvert and I don't have, have unli unlimited energy. So what I do put my energy towards, I want to really love it. Number three is I give myself permission to find my creativity. And again, this is just because the last six months I've been in this really crazy um, mas masculine energy where I have just been go, go, go. And so at the moment I'm finding because I'm slowing down, I'm doing yoga, I'm not doing as much hit. And just like slowing down and giving myself permission, I'm feeling a lot more creative and I feel like thoughts are flowing and things are flowing. So just giving myself that permission that I'm in the right direction. This is what I should be doing. Number four is say yes to adventure and joy because I don't know, for some reason just lately, I have just realized that for the last five years, I very much have prioritized goals and work um, and I've achieved so much and it's amazing and I'm proud but I do sometimes miss out on fun and adventure because I'm at home filming like today or you know like I'm I'm working so I guess especially because summer's coming up and the summer's so beautiful here at the Gold Coast and it's our first summer here in our new house I do want to prioritize adventure. Next one is five, which is be more intentional with social media and prioritize connection uh, with others and myself. And this just means, so on Instagram at the moment, I'm kind of doing this thing where I don't go on Instagram on the weekend. And I, it's only been like two weeks or something. And it just feels really good because when I'm with people, it's like when I see people on the weekend, even though it's not like I'm going to sit on my phone in front of them or anything, just like having the phone there and it being beside you and it's, I don't know, it's distracting and it takes your energy and I love Instagram and I love social media, but it can be so distracting and it can really distract you from being present with people you love. And so I'm just really focusing on that because I've just noticed how addicted I am to social media and I know we all are. And the last one is bask in the small celebrations. So this actually came from, I was having a conversation with a beautiful friend and she was just saying how I never really celebrate the small wins like I'm 
very much a person of, you know, when I launch my podcast, I'll celebrate. When I got, um, you know, 100,000 downloads, not even then I didn't. But I definitely am that person that I always am looking at big goals. I don't really celebrate and bask in the small ones. And I just kind of think, oh yeah, of course they should happen. Whereas when you kind of, you know, celebrate, you give yourself recognition, they can really feel a lot more satisfying rather than having that thing where you're constantly, okay, tick this off the box, achieve this onto the next thing. So really basking in um, and celebrating the small things but I feel so good after just like decluttering my wardrobe and running new attentions. It just, I don't know, it feels really good. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and I hope some of you do the same and feel the same because it does feel pretty amazing but i'm going to love you and leave you if you did like this video it would mean the world to me to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh yeah have an amazing day guys